Hey everybody, this is an addendum to the problem set that goes with the latent heat lecture. Um, this is an additional problem in which you drop a solid block of ice into some liquid water and you want to find the final temperature. So let's take a look. A warm Coca-Cola, 0.35 kilograms, is at 24 degrees Celsius. To cool it, I grab an ice cube from the freezer and drop it in the Coke. The ice cube is 0.31 kilograms and the temperature in the freezer is negative 3.0 degrees Celsius. What is the final temperature of the beverage after it has come to equilibrium? Assume no heat is lost to the environment in the process. The specific heat of water is 4186 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. The specific heat of ice is 2030 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. The latent heat of fusion of water is 334,000 joules per kilogram. So, uh, in this case, we drop a block of solid ice into some liquid water. So because the water is at a higher temperature, it's going to, it's going to release heat. And we're going to assume that all of the heat that it loses goes into the ice. So I'm going to call the water H for hot. Since it's losing heat, it's going to have a negative Q, negative value for its QH. Um, the ice is going to be QC for Q cold. And since it gains all the heat that the water loses, QC equals negative QH. Um, now that's the first step. But we need to think about what our ice and what our water are doing. So let's take a look at this heat temperature curve. This is just a sketch. Now our water starts out somewhere in the liquid phase above well, between the boiling point and the melting point. And our ice starts out somewhere in the solid phase below the freezing point. So what's going to happen is the water is going to donate heat, so it's going to move to the left on this curve, and the ice is going to move to the right. And eventually they'll meet at a place, and that's going to be where their final temperature is. So it's possible that uh, if there's enough ice, some of that water can freeze and the final temperature will just be zero. Um, but I don't expect that's going to happen. I expect that we're going to melt our ice and then the, uh, the melted ice is going to increase in temperature. So they're going to meet somewhere in the liquid water phase right here. It's possible that that's wrong. If my assumption is wrong, we'll get a strange number. We'll get a weird negative number and we'll have to come up with some new process for this. So let's think about what's going on with our ice and with our water. Well, our ice, first we heat it up to its melting point. And to heat up our ice, it's going to be mass of the ice, C of the ice. I'm going to do I for ice. And then delta T of the ice, which is Oh, if it goes from negative 3 to 0, it's just 3 degrees. But then we have to melt our ice. That's going to be plus M of the ice times the latent heat of fusion. And then we're going to increase the temperature of our ice. I'm going to do it on the next line, actually. Mass of the ice. A specific heat of water, since it's already melted and then T final minus T initial C for cold. That's the heat gained by the ice. We have to equate that to negative of the heat lost by the water. Since the water starts in liquid and we assume it's gonna end in liquid, MH uh, C for water, since it's liquid, times T final minus T initial for the water, which I called H. So here's our equation, and since we know our final temperatures are the same, that's going to be our only unknown. So let's set up the equation over here and try and do the algebra to solve for this one. Um, so MC, C1, I'm going to write it as delta T ice plus MCLF plus M C C W T final minus T initial cold equals negative M H C W T 
two, final minus two initial hot. There's quite a lot going on here, but let's just plug in our numbers and simplify it as much as we can. Mass of the ice is 0 0.031 kilograms. Specific heat of the ice is 2030 joules per kilogram, and the delta T of that ice is 3 degrees Celsius, plus the mass of the ice, uh, 0 0.031, times the latent heat of the ice, 334,000, plus um, M, mass of the ice again, 0 0.031, times C of water, 4186, times T final minus T initial of the, uh, well, of the melted ice is zero degrees, equals negative mass of the water, 0 0.35, times C of the water, 4186, times T final minus T initial of the water, 24 degrees. It's a whole lot, but it's really just a bunch of calculator work that we're about to do. So let's do it. 0 0.031 times 20.30 times 3. 188.8 plus, oops, sliding forward, 0 0.031 times 3.34000 0, 0, 0, plus 10,354 plus um, 0 0.031 times 4186, 129.8. And that's multiplied by t final minus 0. t final minus 0 is just t final. So this is our t final term. And underline that. Equals negative. Well, 0 0.035 times 4186. Actually, just 0 0.35, 0 0.35 times 4186, getting, um, well, it's a negative, so it's negative 1465 times t final minus 24. Okay, well, let's simplify this. I'm going to group these constant terms, I'll add them up 188.8 plus. 10354 gives me 10542 plus 129.8 t final and then equals negative uh, 1465 t final negative and that times 24 1465 times 24 1465 times 24 um, it's going to be a negative times a negative is a positive, so plus 35, 160. Now we just need to group our two finals together and our constant terms together, so I'm going to add this from the both sides. Or add 1465 two final to both sides and subtract 1054.2 from both sides, so plus 1465 two final plus 1465 final, that cancels, and then minus 10, 5, 4, 2, minus 10, 5, 4, 2, we end up with, well, on our left side we have 129.8 plus 1465 equals, I'm going to write it over to the left a little so we have more room, 1594.8 t final equals Let's do the right side, 35, 160, minus 10, 542, equals 24, 618. And T final, we just divide both sides out by 1594, so we get 24, 618 divided by 1594. Fifteen point four degrees Celsius. So that's that. It's really not that crazy to set up. We just have to start out with 
the heat gained by one object is the opposite of the heat of the other object. You can plug in all the heats required, or the equations, and then the rest is simply algebra. Hope that was helpful. Goodbye.